Paul with mediocre cards, and the pot is raised and re-raised by the time it gets back to you, you'll have to fold, and you'll have wasted money. Don't play cards in early position if they're not good enough to take a raise. Just fold them and wait for a better spot to put your money into the pot. Seats 6 through 8 are all playing from middle position. They have the advantage of seeing what roughly half of the table is going to do before they have to act, so they can generally play a few more types of hands pre-flop. There are still a couple of question marks left to act behind them, though, and these question marks are sitting in seats 9 and 10. These two players are playing from late position, and they have the luxury of seeing how much the majority of the table likes their hands before they have to act. The best position is the dealer in seat 10, known as the button in casinos because the dealers don't play. He is guaranteed to act last in every round after the pre-flop action if he decides to play his cards. Because there are so many different starting hand combinations that you could get in any position, facing a raised pot or an unraised pot, against an aggressive or a timid player, etc., I'm going to look at four specific starting hands in four specific positions to give you an idea of how starting hands in general should be played. The next three chapters following this one will all be based on these four starting hands as I take you through the flop.